Jam Creates here with another video. Uh, this time we're reviewing Nora's Saga number one, uh, or as they like to put it, season one, episode one. This is from Allegiance Arts. Uh, you might remember a few videos back, I reviewed uh, The Futurists, which was also part of Allegiance's first wave of books. Allegiance, if you don't know, Allegiance Arts is a new publisher uh, who will be putting out books. Uh, it's It was started by uh, Mitch Breitweiser and his wife Betty, and uh, they collected a group of talent and are putting out a bunch of books. They will be, they're scheduled to be, the first wave is scheduled to be in Walmart on May 5th. Um, I have the Futurists, Nora Saga, and Bass Reeves, which are all uh, part of that first wave along with Red Rooster. Um, those will all be, like I said, May 5th. They were offered, um, at least Nora Saga, Bass Reeves, and Futurists were offered as part of a crowdfunding package uh, to help them get the company started. Um, so you got all three. So I did, in fact, back that campaign, and I got all three, and I've read all three, and I'm going to review all three. Uh, so you already saw my review of the Futurists, and I definitely liked it. Um, like I said, and you can see here, it says Founders Edition. The copies that will be in Walmart on May 5th will probably be, will, will, will definitely be a little bit different. Um, I don't know if the covers will be the same. I'm, I'm assuming, I'm just assuming that the covers are going to be the same. I don't know why I'm assuming that. I just am. Um, if anybody knows better, let me know. Um, so this book is called Nora's Saga. It is written by Blake Northcott, who you may know from, she's written things. She's actually going to be working on a new Catman, uh, Catman, a new Catwoman book. Um, she's going to be, she worked on executive assistant iris uh she's written a couple of, of novels and she also wrote everglade angels with scott lobdell uh, which i also read which was fantastic i'll do a review of that at some of some point too um so anyway and the art is by kelsey shannon kelsey shannon you may know from like everything dude is working like a fiend <laughs> So anyway, uh, like I pointed out with uh, something that they've done, they've kind of established a house style for them in terms of presentation of the books Allegiance has. Uh, you've got the right here, the title card, and then you'll have, you know, season one, episode one, the title of the episode, um, and then, you know, writer, artist, cover, all the other stuff, you know, um, this credits page. I don't know if they're going to have this exact same setup on the Walmart ones, but this is how they're doing it here. So, you know, we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens when those ones actually come out, what the differences are. Uh, so anyway, this is a story that takes place in Canada. Um, and if you know me, you know, I don't like to get, I don't like to just do a recap of the stories because you, that's a recap. That's not a review. Uh, but I have to give you some idea of what it's about. Um, again, quality of the book, just to mention excellent quality paper, excellent quality. Um, you've got... Uh, it takes place in Canada. It's a, it starts off with Nora and her, her mom and dad. They're in a museum uh, after hours. And the mom works in the museum. They're there just like, you know, goofing around with some of the exhibits and stuff. And, um, you know, she's explaining, the mom is explaining to Nora, like, some of the stuff about, like, who the Vikings were and Norse mythology and talking about Loki and... and different stuff and then they're on their way home and there's a little bit of a snowstorm it's you know it's canada it's winter it's snowy and um right as she's talking about loki this you see this this something she, and nora sees it and it jumps it basically walks out on the road in front of them and they swerve they have an accident she wakes up i mean she's she's dreaming but this is this is what happened you know, there was a car accident. Her mother died in the car accident. And so it's just her and her dad. And he's getting her ready for school. They're starting, you know, she's starting a new school. And, you know, obviously things aren't great. You know, it's a difficult time, something like that. So first thing I just want to mention, I mean, while we're doing, while we're going through the, the whole idea here, she's going to be starting a new school. It's, you know, it's hard for her. She's starting a different school. Um, she has more of a tomboyish look to her. A lot of the other kids, you know, obviously it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a trope, you know, kids making fun of the new kid, whatever. Um, 
she shows she's a little bit smart. She like takes science and she's enjoying it. And then the girls start giggling and she's like, forget it. Like, you know, which is such a shame, but that does happen. Um, so I just wanted to mention, uh, first and foremost, the art, uh, Kelsey Shannon is a absolute fantastic artist. Um, he does such great expressions on his characters' faces. He does such great motion, and he has such a way of doing dynamic action in his art. It really is, I mean, he really, really, really is a talented artist, and the dude just busts out work like crazy, so it's amazing to see, like, the quality of his work. Um, I would say this is right up there with some of his best stuff that he's ever done. Um, so I'm going to skip a little bit, um, skip a couple pages. Uh, she, Nora convinces her dad to take her out to the mall cause she's feeling the peer pressure of the clothes and, and not fitting in. And so they go to the mall and she convinces him. And even though this is a snowstorm, she convinces him to go. And so they, they do go, it's a school night and everything. And, and he's worked a hard day. He like works as a mechanic or whatever. And so they're coming home and their truck they swerve to avoid a deer and then you get this amazing splash page double page spread right here um which i, I you know why i called it a splash page because it's splashing in the water uh, <laughs> um but you can see like the truck goes into the water and the truck is sinking the dad is still in the truck and she's stuck under the ice and she's trying to get out and and we'll skip a little bit um she gets pulled out of the ice but ironically, somehow she gets pulled out of the ice by Vikings and they're talking about her like she's a witch because she has the bear spray that her dad gave her and this wolf attacks them while they have her in like a little sled. They're pulling her along. She sprays the wolf and, you know, even they're like, oh, my eyes burn, you know, and she's like, she's a witch. She's a witch. You know, so they think she's a witch. Um, and then it's like, well, what the heck is going on? where is she i don't want to you know spoil the end end i mean that turn the only reason i even talked about that is because that's it's in the pitch like you know that she's going to wind up in like a viking world um so then because this was the crowdfunded edition i don't believe any of this will be in the walmart edition um this is some bonus stuff you get to see some of kelsey's sketches just working on some stuff and and some other things and this is matt weldon's art i can recognize that right away um you can see the concept art from Kelsey Shannon and Matt Weldon. And, and um, then, you know, you just, that's it. Thank you page and check us out online and the cool little logo in the back. All their, it's, it's cool. All their titles have a logo. Um, yeah, I don't see them together, but like, you, it's cool. They all have like this individual logo. Um, it's a neat little bit of marketing for them. Um, so anyway, uh, this is Nora's Saga, episode one, season one, episode one. It absolutely gets you into the story. It gets you into the characters. Nora is actually a likable female lead, which is unusual in this day and age, because generally speaking, for some reason, most female leads, they try to make them as just nasty and unlikable as possible for some reason, because that's supposed to make you like them. I don't know. She's honestly, she's relatable. She's a normal kid. You know, she's a normal teenage kid and she's just trying to fit in and, and she's feeling the peer pressure and the and, and being upset by being teased and all that. And she's dealing with the loss of her mom. And then she's in this accident and now we don't know what the deal is. Like, we don't know what's going on. She's in this strange land. Did her father survive the accident? How did she wind up where she is from a truck accident? Is she conscious is she just unconscious and hallucinating? Is she still in the water? Like, what is going on? Did she actually travel back in time? So we're left on, you know, obviously on like, a, obviously I'm not going to tell you the entire story in that just first issue. Um, so you're left on kind of a cliffhanger, of course, trying to figure out what's going on. But it absolutely does a great job of what a number one should do. Or whether it, let's go season one, episode one. If it was the first episode of a show you're going to watch, you know, you would watch this and you would say, oh, I want to see the next episode. Uh, so it absolutely does its job in making you care about Nora, making you like her dad, her and her dad have, have a good relationship. Um, they're strained because of the issues going on, but you could tell they love one another and 
you know, it was nice to see that father-daughter dynamic that wasn't just the dad is a big goofball and the kid is just making fun of him because he's stupid, which is what you see in so many things nowadays. I have a daughter. She is a teenager now. And we have a wonderful relationship. So it's nice to see, you know, people actually caring about one another and having a good relationship in a work of fiction. Um, so anyway, I absolutely would recommend it. The art is top notch. Kelsey just knocked it out of the park, honestly, like great job. And Blake, I have really a lot of faith in Blake's ability to tell a good story. So because I've read her other stuff before uh, and she's very good at telling She's very good at telling stories and she's good at telling action stories. She's good at telling different types of stories. So I absolutely think it was a great addition by uh, the Brightweisers to bring them in and to put them together on this book really is, I think, going to work out really well. Uh, so I absolutely would recommend the book. Um, like I said, uh, if you didn't back the the crowdfunder, obviously you can't get it that way, but you can get it when it comes to stores. May 5th is the scheduled date it's supposed to come to Walmart. Of course, in the world we're in right now, you know. Uh, but they're still saying I they just saw I just saw a post from one of them the other day saying it's still on schedule for May fifth at Walmart. So let's you know, fingers crossed. Hopefully that's that's what it's going to be, and um, you can you can check it out then. And so I don't know what the cover price will be. Uh, I don't know if they have said that and I just missed it. Um, so that's kind of up in the air. Um, but anyway. Um, I absolutely recommend it. It's definitely worth checking out. And honestly, it's a new company with a new strategy and, and new stories. And I absolutely feel like if you're a comic book fan, May 5th, go to your Walmart, provided you can, of course, and pick these books up. I, I really do recommend Futurists, like I showed you guys. I loved that book. Butch Geis' art is ridiculous. That that book is, I think, going to be an epic, epic story. Uh, and this one is really promising as well. So I absolutely 100% recommend uh, Nora Saga. So check it out when you get the chance. Um, let me know in the comments below if you backed it and you got it and you read it, what you thought. Um, if not, let me know if you're planning on getting it uh, when they come to stores. I'm curious to see how, like, if people know about this, if they're anticipating it or not. Um, cause it's a big deal and we're in such a strange place right now, uh, as a country. I don't know what the hype is and you know me, I, I try, I mean, I mention stuff cause it's just, it's life, but I try to just keep that stuff aside and talk about the fun stuff here on my channel. Cause that's what it's about. It's comic books. They're supposed to be fun. Um, even when they're scary or, or whatever, or, you know, they're still fun. Uh, so anyway, I absolutely recommend it. Please, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs up anyway, just because that would be like a super cool thing to do. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Um, if you are, make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube's been doing some funky stuff. And uh, hit the bell for notifications. You can follow me on Twitter at jam underscore creates. You can follow me on Instagram at jam underscore creates. It's mostly where I share my art and pictures of my dog. Um, you guys know Beans if you've been following the channel for a while. I haven't done a dog walking video in quite a while. Maybe I'll do one of those soon. Uh, God knows we've been taking the dog for lots of walks. Um, so anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe. Peace out.